trouble. You said God is not for the world. And his feet like unto fine brass, huh? as if they burn in a furnace. Right, and that's and that's the clincher right there. Fine, like it was burned in the furnace. That means he was a street in the dark. Like in um, Matthew 10, uh, uh, Daniel's in 10th chapter. Oh, Hebrews 7, I just think at Hebrews 7 and 14. Read it, brother. I know, but as soon as Galatians, let me read this with you. Galatians, let me read. I know, but verse 26. For ye are all the children of God. Listen to this, man. Listen to this. This is the last scripture you're going to read. It says, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have been put on Christ. There's either neither Jew nor Greek, right? This is scripture they love to hear. There's neither Jew or Greek. There's neither bond or free. There's neither male nor female. For all are one in Christ Jesus, right? But here's the kicker. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed right. and heirs according to the promise. Right. Now, is Ab seed. now is everybody yeah. Abraham's seed? Did every Abraham? people come out of Abraham's seed? What, and what was Abraham? Okay. Yeah, what does he was a Hebrew, right? What? So in order for you to have the order for you to have the promise and to be one of Christ, you gotta come out of Abraham's seed. Right. Now Ishmael came out of Abraham's seed. What happened to him? Okay. He was rejected. But the Moabites didn't even come out of Abraham's seed. They came out of Lot's seed. That's a whole nother nation. The um the Amites, the Ammonites, they came, they came out of Lot's seed. That's a whole nother nation. So they damn sure not getting the promise. They damn sure not the heirs. And this is what these people don't understand. And they cut, man. Let's continue. Now get on. Hebrews are 7 and 14. It's in Hebrews 7 and 14. But it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Right, so it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Okay, so here's up in yeah, Acts 13. Acts 13. I got it. Uh, in the 23rd verse. Acts 13 and 23. Of this man's seed. Uh, uh, 22. All right. Acts 13 and 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them. David to right. be their king. Right, it just said he's from the offspring of um, Read that again. Seven and fourteen. But it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Well, and we all know that um, David was a Jew. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed, of this man's seed, have God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior. Right, raised up, up to Israel a savior. Jesus. Jesus Christ. So he's from the line of Judah. Now go back to the uh, go back to all uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. Hebrews 7 and 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Look, man. You don't got to right, kick me. Huh? The brothers are explaining to you thoroughly, man. All right? But, uh, you know, because he's pointing at this brother, but part of the curse is the most high that he, he scattered the nation of Israel. And if you get Daniel's ninth, the ninth chapter, and all the scattered scripts, right. and he yeah, made yeah, us look yeah. like the other nations. That was part of the curses that the most high did to us, right? Because we're worshiping their gods, so he said, you know, I'm going to give you over to their gods, and I'm going to make you look like the most high, right? The thing is, well, I'll just get to the point. Now, if you ask us, we think you're a hammer, all right? But uh, overall, we don't know because it's the most high knows. That's why another scripture in Matthew, like you mentioned, talks about the weeks and the tears. The angel's going to come back in the last days and separate the Israelites, you know? You gotta get some this is Baruch 1 and 15. And ye shall say, and ye shall say to the Lord our God, belongeth righteousness, but unto us confusion of faces. Yeah, but, but unto us confusion of faces, which means that we will look like the other nations. You have people... Uh, we have the, uh, the nation, uh, you call that? Yeah, uh, confusion of face sign. Get that? All right. Like a Kim Elijah one. Okay, a cunt. Like a Kim Elijah one. And then you can get Romans 8th chapter. Yeah, Romans 8 uh, and 16. Like a Kim Elijah one, we believe he's an uh, uh, Israelite. He's a, supposedly an, a handmite, right? Got in it. the spirit, he's an Israelite. Why? Because he's spirit. Through his spirit. Uh, the only difference between Elijah one and the new bowl. Okay, cunt. The thing is, we're talking, we're gripping an answer right now. You just got to be patient and listen. All right, just just listen, listen. Get the confusion of the sign. You also basically the sign which shows is that you have people from other nations like Bruce Lee, Brad Pitt. All right, that 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 you would think they're from another nation, but there's but yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, but their spirit reveals that they are in Israel because uh, those people are signed. Scattered. Are scattered, mm. and through the characteristics 
of the Israelites in the Bible fit those people and the curses. I'm not going to get into it. I'm just giving you real quick. But, uh, all right, let me just, let me just show this. Thing. All right. This is it. All right. Yeah. Now, if you read this, read this from here. What does this say? Yeah, the number of the children of those laws shall be. Let's slow down and soak it in, man. Read, read it from home. Slow, slow down and soak it in. Read it. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Sand of the sea. That's the script. That's Hosea 1 and 10, right? Um, all right. Meaning that the more, if you pick up sand, that's um. Well, basically, the, the, the people of Israel are, are, are like basically unnumerable. All right. Just like when you go to a beach and you look at sand, they're unnumerable. All right. So. You can, you can try to categorize these people, but the Most High said, my people are, are the sands of the sea. So if there's, what, 7 billion or 8 people on the earth, let's say 75% 75, 75 of the people on the earth are Israelites. All right? All right? Oh, okay, okay. All right? So, so that was an example to show you that it's, it doesn't always derive in, like, like these people on the side, we're scattered all over the world, okay? Just like the Italians, all right? The Italians, they derive, they derive from people called the Moors. If, if you know about that, there's a movie called, um, what, uh, what was that with, uh, that Dennis Hopper? Hey, no, what's that movie with Dennis Hopper? And he, oh, True Romance. If you type in a scene, uh, Dennis Hopper talks about that the, uh, that the Italians derive from white because uh, um, the Moors they conquered uh, Italy at that time and had sex with a lot of these other nations and their and their seed were um, were the actual Israelites. Just like if I were to get with a white woman, my, my baby could look white, right? But as a seed of me an Israelite, so that baby would be an Israelite. So that's the point, right? Yeah, we're done with that in the parking lot. So. We, we, look, we, we think you're a Hamite, but overall, you, you, who knows? You could be an Israelite through the Spirit. All right. So maybe you could take that and, and go and go meditate on that, man. Right? Because it's, it looks like you want it, but you're still refusing it. But the point is, that's the only thing we can say to you, man. Yeah, because and uh, and you and the only thing is you have to follow truth. You should be understanding what these brothers are saying, but but you're really not getting it. That's what we're revealing that you cannot be an Israelite. All right. Yeah, because we're bucking up against the word of the Most High. The word of the Most High is is, is coming out. We're teaching the word. You have a you have a question, we're asking your question, but you don't like the answer that we're giving you. So you telling me pull this scripture out, pull this scripture out. Only scripture you're gonna pull out is gonna cut you even more. Because he just proved the point. He just proved he just proved to you that it's, it, right now it's a confusion of faces. Let me be cut by the scripture. Now we're gonna read Romans. Wait, well, let me read one. This is Romans the eighth the, the eighth chapter and sixteen verse. Now, Romans again. eight and sixteen. The spirit itself. Breath witness with our spirit. So the prophecies that fit the nation of Israel that's found in here, all right, bear a riffing that what? We that, are the nation of Israel. Yeah. That we are the children of the Most High. Yeah, we are the children of the Most High. And one scripture, <laughs> one scripture that proves that we are the nation of Israel is Deuteronomy 28. Read it. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Let me get that ship sign. And... One second. This is this how Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the Negroes, came to America. Can I read that again? No. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And if you know anything about Egypt, all right, Egyptos is a Greek word, Egyptos, which means bondage. So out of bondage, we would come back into uh, 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 Egypt or America in bondage. Get on Revelations 11 and on 8. One second. Precept on Pisa. 11 and 8 to prove that uh, America is a modern day East. Ele Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, the great city, the dead bodies talking about who? The nation of Israel, some having confused faces, some looking like me. All right? Want to know who they are according to the Bible? Because the Bible tells you what nations you are. If you're a nation of Edom, if you're a nation of Moab, if you're a nation of um, Ammon, because eight out of 18 nations, the Most High chose one, which is the nation of Israel. Now read that again. All right. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. They just gave, they just gave homosexuals, faggots, and lesbians, freaks, the right to get married. Sodom. That, that's, that's Sodom. Which was going on in where? In um, ancient um, Sodom. Read that, finish that off. 
okay. which is spiritually called Egypt. All right? Well, we we in we in uh, this place which is spiritually called Egypt, which the the the, uh, the, the, the Negroes, West Indians, the Puerto Ricans, the Native Americans are in slavery. Now go back. That's good enough. Go back to the church. Oh, 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 oh. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way thereof, whereof I spake unto thee. Right, so we was brought here to the Americas for cargo slave ship. Yep. We're the only people in history that fit this promise, which is found in Deuteronomy 28. Now let's go to Matthew 28 chapter, which verse? And what? Matthew 28. And if you want to tell, bro, yes, yeah, I am. Go to go John 17 and uh, 15. Is that? I love that girl. Yeah, 17 and 9. 17 and 9. Mark 28, uh, verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in the heaven and the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Holy Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I will always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Can I just say something? Yeah. So, this is what I'm going to say to you guys. I know that I'm not part of God's originally chosen people. I know that. I know that. But this is a song. Can I sing you guys a song? No. And you may hate no, 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 this. No, 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 the so-called white man, they all gonna be put down under our subjection. Why? Because you're not the chosen. We are the chosen. That's called, give me up, uh, Isaiah. Uh, okay, 40, 40, give me Isaiah 40. That you know this and you don't know. Nah. Yeah, read. Finish that off. Nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. You can't sacrifice nothing to become the nation of Israel. All right, read it. This is Psalm 79 and 6. Pour out that wrath upon the heathen. Yeah, pour out the wrath on the heathens. Get on Jeremiah 30. Get Jeremiah 30. Get Jeremiah 30 and 15. Yeah, take this. Pour out that wrath upon the heathen. They have not known thee. See, how you haven't known the most high? Because what? Get on Amos. We don't know what Amos third chapter. Real quick. Real, real, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Amos three and uh, three and two. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. I'm sorry, yep. y'all. That's cool. Hear, verse one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. Yeah. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Again, he brought the first time when he brought us out of the land of Egypt. He said to Israel, he's talking to Israel then. You only, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. All the families of the earth. 
18 nations. This is all the families of the earth. You only have I known 